when you hear about the Paris, Kentucky, ladies and gentlemen, if you're from the Lexington, Kentucky area, you think of country, you think of beautiful million dollar horse farms. And, you know, that's just why you've got to go check out uh, one of the top neighborhoods in the area. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Living in Lexington. This is Ben Murphy. I'm a realtor with eXp here at Le Lexington, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are actually going to talk about Paris. Now, I've talked about them recently before in some other videos, but we're going to continue our best neighborhood series. And today we are going to go to Houston Oaks, located just south of the city of Paris. <music> everybody welcome back here we are we are actually looking at a MLS database here kind of map it's kind of partnered with Google Maps as you can kind of tell I just wanted to give you an idea of where it was in regards to downtown Paris Kentucky if I zoom out I'll show you kind of where it is in regards to Lexington and the surrounding areas so all these dots right here are homes that have sold in the last couple of years and there's Lexington Kentucky as you can see it is on Paris Pike all the way to Paris and to Lexington, which is really, really cool. This is a fun, nice, easy drive. And I'm not going to lie, it's actually a real pretty drive. If I'm being honest with you, you get to see kind of the beautiful side of this area with the horse farms. You got some old houses with the beautiful fencing, some got some of those nice iron gates. And so it's just really, really cool. But kind of again, focus on here, you, you're not too far from downtown Paris city center of Paris, Kentucky. If I zoom in, again, you'll kind of get to see where the homes are. So this part right here is, is a part of Houston Oaks as well. But, you know, Cross Creek Drive is really that main road. And then, you know, got all these little cul-de-sacs here. And it goes all the way right down through here. Okay, so it's a decent sized neighborhood. It's got a nice little lake here in the area. It even has a nice river that kind of goes through it almost. And so again, you're going to get some pretty views and you'll get to see that on the drive here when we go here shortly. I'm going to pop over here to Google Maps real quick. And again, you can kind of see relative of where it is about three and a half miles away, about a 10 minute drive to get to city center of Paris. If we're going the other direction to Lexington, you're roughly 25 minutes from that spot, that's probably a good estimate at that point. Um, I've heard good things about Shady Brook Golf Club, but you know, I've talked a lot about Lexington, Kentucky. If you go and watch some of my previous videos about the different neighborhoods um, throughout Lexington, I actually go a little bit deeper into the different areas of Lexington, but we're gonna focus a little bit more on Paris here today. So we're gonna zoom back in. And I'll be honest with you, Paris is a small country town. It really is. And um, right there is your Bourbon County High School. So if you do decide to live in Houston Oaks, you're probably two and a half miles away. I mean, in re reality, yeah, about two and a half miles away. Um, again, small town, small community. Everyone kind of knows everybody sort of feeling, um, you know, Bourbon County Park. I've actually heard really cool things about this park. I might have to go to one of my best parks in Paris, Kentucky videos, and I might have to feature that, but there's a couple of them here as well at Paris Athletic Complex. I have heard about that as well. And again, you know, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It doesn't seem like there's a lot going on. I will talk about Bourbon Drive-In Theater. This is a really, really cool drive-in theater. Yes, they still do exist. If you've never been to one, it's definitely worth the experience. My wife and I usually go once a year. Like Usually they'll have um, weekend themes of where they're showing they always show two movies by the way so when you go you're not going just for one movie you're going for two movies and when we lived in Lexington it was only a 30 minute drive we drove there hung out we brought the dogs with us especially on the summer nights when it was warmer it was nice out um, we got to enjoy ourselves for sure so this is a really cool little staple you get people that drive in from all over Kentucky that just want to come and hang out watch a movie they show old movies they show new movies so you always will have that kind of balance with it as well and so let's kind of zoom in and see what else is going on here i've actually heard of trackside restaurant and i've heard really good things about it they may have to be on our top restaurant list or i might have to do a video where i go talk just about them so 
we're going to keep looking through again there's not a ton of things going on you've got some restaurants you got your wendy's you got your chinese restaurant uh rico fresh mexican grill um 4.7 stars got some good reviews there we might definitely have to go check them out I'm a, i do, do like some good mexican food so again as you can see it's it's a very small area, very condensed area, but again, everyone kind of knows everybody. Everyone kind of knows what's going on. So if you're looking for that small town community, uh, the last time I checked re resident wise, it's right around 9,000 residents. So you're, if you're trying to live somewhere that can escape the craziness of a big city, tons of people in a small area, Paris is definitely that location because like I've said before, you're only 20, 25 minute drive from Lexington. So if you're trying to find that entertainment, Lexington has all that entertainment you could ever want. So for only being in a half an hour drive, it's not that bad. Um, you know, we live over here in Winchester and we got the nice highway that'll get us all the way in there um, relatively quickly. So that's pretty cool. But this road, like I said, it's a really easy drive. I mean, it's seriously, it's a straight shot. Um, you're, I mean, 20 minutes from the highway at that point. So once you get there, you're, you can go anywhere. You can get to Richmond, you can get to Louisville, you can get to Cincinnati, or you just got to go to Georgetown. But um, Georgetown, you're actually going to take this road to get to Georgetown. But that's Paris kind of in a nutshell. I've done a video too about Paris. We will do more videos about Paris, I promise. Like I said, I'm going to have to probably do that Bourbon County Park video. Um, there's a couple of restaurants in there. We'll definitely do a um, restaurant video. But, you know, Claiborne Farm, this is actually a really, really, really popular farm. Um, produces a lot of great horse winners, um, derby winners, Preakness winners. Like it, it's, it's a really, really cool uh, historical thing. And you can actually look at up, up on Google and find out a little bit more information about them. But let's jump into the car and go check out these homes. Hey everybody, before we get to that video tour, you gotta do me a quick favor. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. It's gonna help get these videos out there, especially for those who are trying to research and learn just a little bit more about Paris, Kentucky. But if you are one of those people, you gotta hit the subscribe button. We're posting more videos every single week and we will continue to talk more about Paris, Kentucky as we go down the road. Let's get to this video tour and let's see what these homes look like.
everybody that does it for today's video thank you so much for sticking around here till the end if you haven't done so already do me a quick favor hit that like button it's going to help get these videos out there especially for those who are trying to research more about the area and trying to make the decision on where they want to land uh, when it comes to moving and if you are one of those people then you got to do the next thing which is hit that subscribe button you're going to be notified every single time we release a video and we're up to doing three videos a week at this point and so you're going to be constantly updated about what's going on in the area things to do the real estate market so you got to hit that subscribe button if you haven't so already thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen this has been murphy with the deuce kirk team at exp realty living in lexington y'all have a good day